Well, very simply, Economic Development Corporation is doing a fabulous job, and uh, I've heard people say, well, what are they doing? I don't know, I never, what are they doing? Well, listen, when you go and find out what they are doing and what they've done, it's phenomenal. And I think they're just now really reaching some, getting some, some steam up that they're gonna be able to do some great things down the road. And I do know they have some things they're working with right now, uh, industrial-wise, uh, and we missed two extremely large uh, opportunities last year, not because we didn't have our, our uh, uh, apples together. We were there right up front as one of the top two for, to get these uh, industries to come here, and they decided not to build. So if they decide not to build, the EDC can't, can't uh, control that. But the Chamber of Commerce is so very active as well. So I think that uh, those two uh, elements we have here, plus, you know, we have, a, I think, a very strong group of uh, people who are uh, uh, in, in our businesses and, and involved with our uh, industrial opportunities here that are very intelligent people, and they're doing what they can to, to uh, save jobs. Uh, as EDC has done in many occasions here, that we've had corporations that were either going to move and or cut jobs. And the EDC got with them, went to Frankfurt, went to the city, went to the county, and worked out some agreements that kept, they've kept several hundred people employed that would not have been employed if we had did not have that organization because those are things the city commission just by itself cannot do. Do you think that Owensboro in general has a business friendly environment? I really do. I, I, here again, you, you, you talk about and you hear these horror stories about, well, I was going to put a restaurant here, but I went down to planning and zoning and, and I got this, this, and this, and this. Uh, that's one of the things that I do want to personally look into and ask the commission to be aware of. Uh, I have dealt with the planning and zoning people and the inspections department in different situations I've been involved with personally. Uh, I've never had a problem. Uh, they have their rules and regulations they have to go along with that they have to abide by. And I think most of the most of the negative aspect comes up whenever people come in from a from another community or another state and they've been someplace that doesn't have the same regulations we do and they thought they could do this here and it didn't work here because our guys got to say, here's the book, we gotta go with this book. Mm -hmm. And that gets that gets people crossed up. But I, I can't say that I feel like that we have a negative atmosphere for, for business development here. Really I don't in another question, you had touched on this, but if you could could um, uh, talk about it a little bit, you had said that as a, as a candidate or as a city commission, you don't have magic dust to just create jobs. Um, can you explain that a little bit about what what you can or cannot do as a city commissioner to to create jobs? Because that, as you noted, there are a lot of candidates who say, "Well, if you elect me, then I'm going to bring." hundreds of jobs to this community. I mean, is that, uh, what are your thoughts about that? Well, I, I think my statement speaks for itself in that I don't think that I have any kind of a magic formula, but I will, as I said, I want to make sure that those people who are professionally trained and, are in the, in the, and have that, that job to bring people in have what they need to make it happen. And as a commission member, uh, I, I'm so high on Owensboro, and I, we've got to be high on ourselves because we can't get, our, get, our, get our, our, our enthusiasm down. We have to move forward, and I think whenever we have that atmosphere and that attitude, people will line up and say, let's make this thing happen. And I think we as a community can do anything we want to do if we put our mind to it and our resources into it because the resources are here and the people are here. Owensboro is a great place to live.